Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 8.0, and today is day 57. So today we are continuing our training on the new agent sites inside of our consumer applet with a new release from KWRI and our labs team, and that is the home valuation tool. A often sought out and requested tool now available for you to add to your agent site so that your consumer can go to that agent site page, put in their address and information, command will capture the contact's information, and if possible, provide that consumer with a valuation for their current address. So let's go ahead and see how to add the page and then what happens when the consumer puts in their information. We're gonna to go to the consumer applet first. And then from there, we're gonna go ahead and click on edit my website. And we are going to add a custom page. Remember this is a page that we're adding to our agent site. So we would click on custom page. And we have page title. So this is what would show up at the top of the page. However, in this instance, we're actually gonna remove it. So I'm just gonna put in home valuation tool as the page title. Now it seems a little weird to show up, but I'll show you why I did that in just a second. When we come down to the page contents, we're gonna to choose to add a module. And from there, we're gonna scroll down until we get to home value search component. We're gonna choose home value search component. And from there, you can see this module provides us with a ready to discover your home's value. Let's find your home to get started in your home address, let's go. Because it already has this ready to discover your home's value, I don't need this header at the top. So I'm actually gonna come over to the page header section and I'm gonna to toggle off so that I actually gonna to toggle on the hide title toggle. That way it removes that, it just has the big blue bar and then we can just roll with ready to discover your home's value. Now, if I wanted to change either of those two sections of text, I can choose to change the title here, ready to discover your home's value, or I can change the description down here as well. I'm gonna choose not to do either of those right now and just go ahead and publish that page. And that's simply that quick, that easy, we now have that page added to our site. So if we go to dreamhomesandkd.kw.com and we click on the more button, you're gonna see we now have that home valuation tool easily added to our site. So I'm gonna choose home valuation tool now on the site and you can see it says, ready to discover your home's value? Let's find your home to get started. So I'm gonna type in 2422 Fawn Lake Circle and Katie and choose that property address. We'll choose let's go. It's gonna ask me for my information. So in this case, we're gonna put in good old Donald Duck and we'll put in a fake email address and we'll choose get my valuation. And you can see that the screen then pops up with an estimated value. You can see this value is an estimate only, not an appraisal, should not substitute for the expertise of a licensed real estate agent or appraisal. Home valuation range is provided by a third party partner. Now the consumer can choose to additionally send a message from here. However, you have already captured this contact's information. You just got a notification on your command app you got a notification within your command bell inside of the command platform. I'll show you that in a second. You also got an email. So as the agent, you just got notified three different ways that somebody has entered their information into your home valuation tool. If we come back to command, <clears throat> excuse me, here's that notification. Donald Duck has requested a home valuation. Their reported range was 376 to 383. I can choose to view the contact and it's gonna pull up Donald's name and email. Now it does not automatically enter this property address as their home address. So if you were going to use a tool like the Monthly Neighborhood Nurture, you would wanna come in and choose to edit this contact record and then put in underneath additional, add more information, additional contact information. This is where we would go ahead and enter their address if we wanted to send them the Monthly Neighborhood Nurture. We could also always choose to just click on add neighborhood, find on map, and then type in their address there. 
and assign them to the next door neighborhood if it exists, if that's the route that you wanted to go. Now, just a heads up, not all property addresses are available in the home valuation tool. So occasionally the consumer may get something that looks like this. So if we go and put in 6715 Arrowbrook Cove, you can see there's the address there. Let's go and let's just put in Daffy Duck on this one. Daffy Duck and email. Let's put in a fake email address again. We'll check the box for correspondence. Okay, get my evaluation. <clears throat> and in this case, it says a home valuation estimate is not currently available. Now we could go ahead and click on send message. And it'll say Keller Williams will reach out shortly. Please check your email for a response. So we're going to close that. That is the limit of the conversation that the consumer has. So from here, it's going to be up to you as the agent to reach out to the consumer and follow up with them. So here is what it looks like. Daffy Duck requested a home valuation. The reported range was zero dollars. So if we view the contact, we still get Daffy's name, we get Daffy's email, we still do get the address that Daffy put in. So we could choose to go in the MLS and put together our own CMA and then email that to Daffy. We could reach out to Daffy via email and let him know, hey, looks like your home valuation didn't come up. Can you give me a little bit more information about the property? Whatever you choose to do. But you also do receive a separate notification and it says, hi, and then agent name, I'm interested in the value of the property at this address. So this is what it looks like when they click on the actual send a message button from that home valuation tool site. So that's it for today, guys. Pretty short, uh, pretty straightforward. The ability to add now a home valuation page to your agent site where consumers can enter their address and hopefully receive a valuation range for their property. And if not, obviously then communicate with you such that you can then capture their name, email address, and the property address they were requesting information for. Hope everyone's having a fantastic day as always, and I'll look forward to talking to you again real soon.